In this video, I'm gonna show you how I run my engagement sessions. I'm gonna show you how I pose my couples, the direction I give to my couples, and then the finished images from those poses and direction. As a bonus tip, I'll also show you why it's important to have your couple use two different outfits during the engagement session. Let's get into it. We're at the Westside Provisions District, beautiful place, exposed brick, the industrial type of feel. We're gonna get shots on this bridge in the back of me. We're gonna get shots in the middle of the street, shots at this furniture store down here. But this is an engagement session. Looking forward to it. It's go time. So you guys, come on, let's go do it. One thing that I start off with my couples is I put them in a particular pose. And from that pose, I could get multiple poses out of that one type of pose. As you can see here, my gentleman is posed in such a way to where his fiance can actually showcase her ring finger directly on his chest. From there, I'll have them make little movements, little tweaks here and there to make sure that I'm getting different unique images, but I don't have them move around as much. As you can see, she does have a form-fitting dress on so i try not to make her move around so much just to make the session a little bit easier on her definitely more comfortable for her as well And as you can hear here, I'm always counting my couple down or counting them up, one, two, and three. So if there's any blinks that they have to get out, if there's any swallows that they have to do, they know that I'm consistent the same way, saying one, two, and three. It's just burned into their brain so they know the best face possible when it's time for them to take the image itself. Why I like this location in Atlanta is based off the lines. As you can see, it's a bridge, but in the background, you have this industrial type of feel. But what I'm shooting on, I'm shooting somewhat shallow. It's a 28 to 70 millimeter 2.8 lens. And what I do, I just dial it all the way down or dial it open to 2.8. So everything in the background will be nice and blurry, but my couple, they're nice and sharp. But in this case here, it's my all around lens. It's a 2.8 and get some really great shots out of that. Even my placement here, what I'm trying to do is make sure that I'm standing off center. So if you think about the rule of thirds, I'm just taking my couple where they're located and I'm moving my camera so I could get them on that third line more to the right. So it gives a little bit more creative edge to the photo and it makes it a little bit more interesting. With these images here, you notice they're not moving so much. Again, it's all about having my female here, which is in the dress that she's in, to make it much more comfortable for her. So as you can see, she really didn't move. I just had my gentleman move over to the left side of the bridge so we can have that creative angle to where she's in focus, he's more in the background, and then I'll shift focus to get him versus her. Make sure that you're using those lines to get some really creative shots. And as you can see here, we're still using that rule of thirds to put your couple on the opposite ends of the frame. Again, just to make the image nice and interesting. And then let's move on to the next. Now here's a quick tip. What I look for locations with engagement sessions when I'm talking to my couples, again, I'll scout the area. Now, when they gave me their overall dream for their engagement session and what they discussed, I knew this location was perfect because again, we're taking advantage of couches and, and furniture that's already out there. I just like to utilize that because again, you don't have to bring many props in because the couple itself, they just have to show up. And with the engagement session, with this contrast here with the couch um, against the brick background, it just makes for some amazing shots. Now, the other thing that I would say is constantly talk to your couple. You want them to hear the direction that you're giving them because they may feel uncomfortable, particularly this couple here, they were comfortable, but you still wanna give little bits of information as far as direction on where they place their hands or what they should say to each other because it looks more intimate. This one, let's keep it more candid. I want you guys more talking toward each other, like looking at each other and talking, um, but just keep the smile going. Now let's stop here. I particularly love this type of shot. And that is when the couple is looking away, but one of the subjects, they're looking at the other person as the other person is laughing. It had such a genuine feeling to it because once they flip it through those images, usually it's those that they pick. It's those little candid images. 
Now, you really can't hear much of what I'm saying. Sorry, it's a GoPro. But in this case here, I'm explaining to her that I don't want her to move around so much. I do want her to show her leg just to hear. But again, if she's unable to move so much, I want her to be as comfortable as possible. The minute your client starts feeling that they're uncomfortable, it shows up in the images. You give them the power to say, hey, I'm not comfortable or I am comfortable. It's your job to kind of walk around and get the best out of that image for your client. And also with this location, when you're scouting locations, just make sure there's so many different areas within that location to take some images. I'm looking like for about four, five, maybe even eight different locations, meaning eight different scenes, I'm sorry, because it's more important to have a variety of images and it's your job to do that as a photographer. So let's continue on. Let's see what's more we have. Yeah, that's it. And this may help any photographers out there. If you're finding that you're stalling when it comes to posing your couples, I like to people watch. And people watch meaning really take a look at couples as they're walking around in grocery stores. But just look at the little gestures that they make because that's gonna help you when you're out with your couple in the field taking these images. Because again, you wanna be able to fire off different poses. The engagement session keeps progressing on. So let's go. There we go. Now, during the engagement session, I like to do this as well. I like to single out my couples. You know, they may use these images later on. So they just want to, you know, be able to post something different on their individual feed. Yes, it's all about them, but they want to be individual as well. Okay, so let's look at this scene here. We're on the street. Yes, it's a busy street at the right of them. But just look at that angle. Again, it looks very busy, but just the angle to where I'm taking the photos to where I'm standing and what I'm trying to go for. I want the city in the back, as you can see right over the crest, right behind the light. I want all that inside the shot, but I also want it to look nice and busy behind them as far as cars turning to make it look like they are really on the street. They're really taking these images. They're really into each other, but I want a dramatic shot as well. The other thing that I would mention here is use yourself. Don't be afraid to just show them like, no, I want you to hold it like this. I want you to put your hand on your hip this way. Like really show them. Alrighty, so guys, my couple is doing an outfit change, um, which is the best for engagement sessions because again, it gives you two different looks. Um, it could be within the same vicinity, but it gives you two different looks, um, which is amazing when it comes to them getting the photos because again, you can share those two different looks with your, your wedding party, with everyone who's on your website. Now again, here's my bonus tip. Incorporate two different types of feels for this session. Let it be a on the night with the town to a nice dinner and then just a laid back version or depending on whatever version they want. Once you mix those around in their images, it looks like they did two different shoots in two different areas on two different days, but you actually did it on the same day. When you're taking the images, just don't take standard images, like literally look to see what you have in front of you. In this case here, you see we had the wired gate. We want to really use that wire gate and shoot through the wire gate to give a different perspective on the images and also on the couple. Yes, it's all about them, but incorporate the environment because again, it's those images that you're making that's unique and creative that your couple is gonna love. The walk-in shot is by far one of my favorite things to do with a couple because I just want to see the way they interact when they're holding each other's hands. And it gives some really candid images like they're continuing their date day together. And I, I just think it's amazing. Here's another fun thing. If there's tables and there's a nearby restaurant, once you get clearance from the restaurant, you could just say, hey, they're in an engagement session. We're taking photos really quick. We just want them sitting at the table. Are you guys okay with that? Now with this, you just explain to them like, hey, just imagine you guys are meeting up for lunch. I want you guys to just talk about what you guys' plans are for the weekend. So they're really having a full blown conversation, but they're really just into each other's company because they're excited about it because they're going together. From that point is that's when you're moving around and taking those images.
Now this is one shot that I particularly love the most and having the couple sitting. And the easiest way to get really nice and intimate, close shots is just to say, hey, you guys are about to watch a movie on the couch. I want you guys to sit with each other like you would normally sit on the couch. Don't be afraid to have your couples run it back. And what I mean by running back, again, you are the director and these are kind of like your actors, but again, they're your clients. So you don't want to call them actors. That's pretty rude. If you get the shot and you look at your camera really quick and say, okay, I think I can get that better. Just have them running back. So I just don't want to just grab a shot and say, oh, I got it. And later on, like, you know, what? we could have did a little bit better than that, but it's your job to put together their story to make it nice and appealing to them once they see those images. Now, the one thing is, don't be afraid to get dirty. You see me, I'm on the floor. Usually the photographers that I'm with, yeah, we get on the floor because again, we wanna give that unique perspective, that unique angle. Now we're using the bridge in a different type of way. We want the bridge to kind of like show coming from the sides of the frame and just extend it out until the abyss behind them. But when they're jumping, as you can see here, it gives the image that they're jumping just a little bit higher than anticipated uh, because you don't want them to jump to the point where they're ripping pants I've, I've had that happen before we don't want that to happen but just to give a different perspective and also to give some creative flair to the shot itself so we can see more of that sky now you don't have to have everybody do a creative fun jumping shot if there's a shot that they want to do like a dragon ball z or different things that they're into you ask them like hey what do you guys watch so you can make a mental note like oh later on i'm going to use that shot as like our final um, shot of the session itself just to make it nice and fun and end it on a high note now this concludes my tutorial and i hope this was helpful engagement sessions are the best way for you to showcase your creative ability and the way you direct with your clients it's like the best way to get the inside tip on how it's going to be on your wedding day so if it's you or one of your shooters just make sure you guys are really shining so we're going to keep these videos coming so make sure you hit that subscribe button and also make sure you click that notification bell so you are aware when we drop more videos just like this. I want to make sure I tell you guys to keep those cameras clicking. Until next time.